Uh, Tua gets placed on the IR, which is a minimum of four weeks out. If you do recall, the IR used to be your at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then the IR became eligible for return whenever COVID was happening, and then they've kind of just kept it around as a four-week at least type situation, even though they can designate some people, I think, to be full-season IR as well. So the Miami Dolphins make this decision for Tua, they're saying, to give him ample amount of time to make the decision on whether or not he would like to return to play, seemingly, mm-hmm. is why this decision was made. Let's go to... Uh, Miami Dolphins diehard fan. Of course. Darius J. Butler on his uh-huh. thoughts about the Miami <laughs> Dolphins doing this uh, for Tua's health is what they're saying. It's, now It's good, I think. I'll, okay, okay. Hey, I like it. I like because it, it kind of takes some of the pressure off of him because obviously he's going to be – and I don't think when you're IR you have to talk to the media and have those um, press conferences even as a quarterback. So now he has time to really sit with his family, with the medical professionals, start to really feel better, you know, have a clear mind. And uh, it, it's tough. Obviously, whenever you see a guy get a concussion, and lock up like that on the field is scary. We know we've seen it happen multiple times with Tua. Um, we think I think he'll be back obviously this year, but now you take that pressure off him up until at least midseason. We'll see where the Dolphins season is at that point. We'll see what Snoop does, how long they stick with Skyler. If they make a trade, I saw I was watching some shows, shows this morning. Stafford may be traded for in Miami. I've Whoa. seen all type oh. of scenarios Matthew? being thrown. Yeah, some some crazy some crazy shit being Could said. Could you on imagine TV Dolphins with this Matthew morning. Stafford? Yeah, oh, it would, it would man. Be great, but it ain't happening. A lot of money it ain't in the QB room. Wow. Yeah. Well, certainly. <laughs> yeah. But Matthew Stafford maybe reworks that thing to win a Super Bowl with another team. Wow. Not Could you imagine? Miami. Could you imagine the Stafford family? Diner in Miami. Mm-hmm. Wow, that would be an entire show. LA to Miami. But yeah, man, we, you know, I, I hope obviously Tua makes the right decision. He gets back, uh, whatever that right decision is for him. And uh, hopefully we see him, hopefully as a Dolphin, we see him on the football field. I well. hope the Dolphins, um, I'm happy that the Dolphins do this for Tua. I do believe this puts even more of a spotlight on Tua and pressure on him. Like even the team that he plays for is like, You sure about that? Like, if you want to, you know, Mm -hmm. like you got obviously the outside world saying, are you sure about that? Now, seemingly, you got the Dolphins being like, want to make sure you're sure about that with the entirety. Does that add into the entire situation for Tua? We shall see. I, um, if the doctors say he's good, if the doctor's like, you're cleared to play football, and Tua wants to play football. Mm hmm. I am very intrigued to see how this all goes. Mm-hmm. You know, especially with McDaniel being like seemingly one of the most caring. He kissed him on the forehead and said, "Hey, yeah. you're the yeah. quarterback of your family. Now yep. the team is doing this." It's like, how do they respond? To uh, like, I'm very eager to see how this all plans out. If he chooses not to play again, which a lot of people are saying should happen and think will happen, like I think we'll all be like, "All right, Tua, we get it." You know, like we 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 absolutely get it. We understand it. But if he comes back in place, I'll be. W- what is the whole? You know, and if doctors are clearing his brain. And then he wants to play. What's the whole reaction? I, I do not. Even from the Dolphins, I'll be excited yeah, to see. Yeah, for, for sure. But, like, if doctors clear him to play and he wants to play, then, like, this conversation's over. Completely. Like, like you would we, think it is, we, but we it, shouldn't. is it? No, yeah. yeah, people are still going to be pissed about it, but I feel like the people right now that are saying retire are like, hey, the doctors aren't going to clear you. And it's like, well, if the doctors clear him, then he's playing. And then if he wants to play, even, like, the speculation of like, well, this might happen again. Well, it's like you might get hit by a car when you cross the street, but you're still going to cross the street. Like the guy is going to play football no matter what. Feels like he, he's going to want to play football. It feels like he's a football player. He's going to want to play football. He just signed a massive contract. He's got a great team. Coach loves his coach, loves everybody, you know, in the organization. It's like this dude's playing football again. It's just kind of a matter of time now. Now at least there is some sort of like, hey, okay, four weeks down the road, let's see where we're at. I think that'd be the biggest thing. Because, yeah, if he gets cleared, like, he is playing. Period. Like, that's that's the way this is going to go. And you can say whatever you want. But I think in terms of, like, the pressure on, you know, him and the, the team as a whole, like, if, if he doesn't get cleared after four weeks and, he, and it takes him, like, eight weeks or, or whatever the case may be, and then he gets cleared then – it's just going to amplify the, hey, this guy needs to retire. It took him eight weeks to get it, cleared. From right. a it's now the right time. It, exactly. Like, like that, that's when oh, that stuff. Oh, man. Yeah. That's when that stuff will really amplify. But if he gets cleared, I don't think anyone thinks there's – there's any way that he like he's gonna play if he gets cleared. I feel like a terrible person for not knowing this information immediately off the top of my head, but like Austin Colley, good friend of mine. Austin Colley, similar situations here. Prime time, a lot of eyes, knocked out numerous times. You know, like locked up, scary situation. Not only for obviously fans of the game, but like teammates. It was uncomfortable. I assume his family, everything, because of some of the hits he took. And I think he ended up retiring because of it. 
and then there was like an entire situation and like the amount of information that they have now on brain activity i think does not equate to the amount of like medicine there is like i think there's like a lot of trial stuff to keep your brain good like trial this mm. trial that and like i think pat anger even is potentially on mm -hmm. some trial stuff potentially for brains for potential concussions that he didn't even know that he had whenever he learned what a concussion was, mm -hmm. and he was like, "That's a concussion." Oh, I've had fifty of those. I've had, <laughs> yeah. I've had maybe a hundred of those. Yeah. It's like those things are happening. I think to older football players. So I appreciate the fact that they're trying to make it safer and trying to make people's futures better and everything like that. But I think it's going to be very difficult to tell people that are adults uh, something that they've committed their entire lives to. If a doctor tells them, "Hey, your brain's good," and he was very with it. You know, all the concussions we've seen with Tua. You know, he's seemingly happy, joyful, all the things we learned from the Dr. Will Smith movie. It's like miserable, depressed, not really quick anymore. Now, granted, that might be long-term effects, very long time. But in the moment here, you know, like Tua is very, I assume it's going to be tough to get him to think that, like, because he's had a few concussions, he shouldn't play the sport that he loves, the sport that's paying him a lot of money. He could mm -hmm. potentially make hundreds of millions of more dollars playing this sport. He could do it, like, I don't know. I think it's going to be an interesting, it's a very interesting dynamic happening. Well, and he also fell in football fell in love with football again like think about how his career started to get to where he is now like he fucking loves football and he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league that's a dolphins fan mm -hmm. diehard uh gumpy who mm -hmm. i think is uh staring down a potential reality not we don't think it's likely but a potential reality that too is not going to be able to be the quarterback for mcdaniel's offense that has seemingly become a match made yeah. in heaven down there uh skylar thompson uh going but there's a lot of other chatter. Gump, how do you feel about the next four weeks for the Miami Dolphins? We can still pound the rock, so we got a <laughs> shot. But other than that, I mean. You guys are a powerful ball team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can run the rock. A lot of good run. running backs. You can run the ball. That's about all we've been doing. Matthew Stafford goes to the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be so Who, Where'd you pull it? You just you saw it? Well, I saw it in the facility this morning. Oh, really? Yeah. I think, that was, I think it was in the training in? room. So that might have legs. The training room. Well, yeah. you have legs in the training room and facility for sure. In the Dolphins facility or the Rams facility? No, the facility, the right? Facility. Come on, Nick. Congrats to those boys over there. Shout out. Four right. NFL guys running the show. Mm -hmm. Which player in the facility was it? Quarterback. Yeah, Chase he, Daniel. He Chase. dialed yeah. it up. Nice mock Scoot trade. City. Yep. I think same, same draft class, I think. Lives out there. The I, I, don't know. I think they played together at the Lions. Who? Chase, Chase Daniel and Matthew Stafford. No, I, like, He's like, the one that like, said Matthew. Like, like, wait, like we should start it. piecing some things together here. I, I did not know this. So Chase Daniel said, "Why not Matthew Stafford?" Or he's hearing Matthew Stafford. No, he, he was. I think it was him proposing the trade. So I don't think it was him piecing together. I don't think it was some uh, insider information. I know a lot of a lot of news about insiders today. Chase, once again on the facility, proposed Rams get Bryce Young, Dolphins get Matt Stafford, Panthers get Dolphins second, and Rams third round pick so and it's really not that crazy according to chase daniel so <laughs> oh that's a uh, uh, conversation's happening in the facility you know, stafford yeah. would love that yeah. too i mean i'm blocking for him this week for the rams i mean yeah, that would be a good situation for him the rams conversation has certainly changed we'll dive into the offensive line there